hello guys welcome to the doubtlet so in this question in this video we are going to solve this system of equations by using cramer's rule so this is the system of equation representing ax is equal to b so we can write this matrix this system of equation as 2 3 1 1 1 1 1 4 minus 1 minus 5 we can write this x as x y z this is a column matrix and is equal to b matrix will be equal to 10 4 minus 8 which is also a column matrix so to find uh, by so by using cramer rule we will find four type of determinant so first of all we will find determinant of this matrix that is 2 3 1 1 1 minus 1 1 Four minus one minus five. So if we will find the determinant of this matrix, what we will get? We will solve this. So it will become five plus one, then minus three. It will become we will even at this column and this row. So minus five minus four, then plus one. We will get ten minus one plus four. so delta so if we will solve this we will get 12 this will get 27 so it will be equal to 3 so 30 plus 42 so delta value is 42 now we need to calculate delta 1 in delta 1 what we need to do we need to remove this first row and we will replace this by the column matrix b so we can write column matrix b instead of first column This is three minus one minus one. This is one one minus five. So if we will solve this determinant by first row, so ten multiply by five plus one, then minus three. So it will be minus twenty plus eight. Then plus one multiply by minus four minus eight. so basically we can write this as 60 this is minus 12 this will become 36 this will become minus 12 so if we will solve this this will become 96 minus 12 so it will become 84 now to find the delta 2 so what we need to do we we need to eliminate this second column and we will replace it with matrix b so we can write this as 2 1 4 and here we will write 1 1 minus 5 and in the middle column we will write 10 4 minus 8 so if we will solve this matrix if we will solve this determinant by first row we will get 2 multiply by minus 20 plus 8 then minus 10 multiplied by minus 5 minus 4 then plus 1 multiplied by minus 8 minus 16 so if we will solve this this will become minus 24 this will become 90 and this will become minus 24 so this will become 48 minus 90 so it will become again 42 so this is delta 2 now to find the delta 3 what we need to do we need to eliminate we need to replace the third column with column matrix b so it is basically 3 minus 1 minus 1 here it will become 10 4 and minus 8 so if we will solve this by first row then it will become 8 plus 4 then it is minus 3 this will become minus 8 minus 16 then plus 10 it will become minus 1 plus 4 so definitely it will become 24 this will become 72 and this will become 30 so if we will add these so it will become 126 so we have got the value of all the four de four determinant delta delta 1 delta 2 delta 3 now to solve this 
system of linear equation we will put x is equal to delta we will put x is equal to delta 1 by delta so delta 1 value is 84 divided by 42 so its value will be 2 so we have got the x as 2 now to find the y we need to put delta 2 divided by delta so what we will got we will write 42 divided by 42 so it is equal to 1 now to find the value of z variable we will get delta 3 divided by delta so definitely we will get it as 126 divided by 42 is equal to 3 so if we will write the value of x y z as 2 1 3 so now this is the answer but if you want to check the answer then you need to put all the three values in any of the equation so suppose let's put this in second equation that is x minus y plus z is equal to 4 so we can write 2 minus 1 plus 3 so 5 minus 1 4 so equation is satisfying so means we have found the correct result so this is how this is how we have solved the uh, this system of linear equation in three variable by using kramer's rule we can also solve these type of systems by finding the inverse matrix and by uh, just solving um, the equation and finding the variables one variable in terms of other two and putting in the re in the rest of the two equation and then solving them for those two variables so i hope you got the concept what i am trying to deliver so if you like this video please hit the like button below comment on this video give the feedback so that we can improve upon the quality and the content of the solutions and the questions that we are providing and please share it with your friends so that they can also learn the basic concepts and give proper feedback and in the end if you want to ask any other doubt then visit my website that is link is given below in the description and you can also ask your doubt by posting them in the comment box below thank you thank you very much